Let's face it, if you're watching this on TV right now, you may not realize how good you have it. I say that because if you have a TV or a computer and of course electricity to make them run, then I'm guessing that you also have a faucet that if you turn it on, water comes out. For millions of people around the world though, running water is a luxury that they have never known. For them, water is a job, hard work. Now, one innovator's simple idea is making that job less of a pain in the neck. It's called the Hippo Water Roller, and it was designed to lessen the hardship of fetching water in rural African villages. The idea originated back in 1991 when South African J.P. Yonker noticed that workers on his dad's farm were collecting empty plastic containers so that they could use them to fetch their own water. I spoke with the co-inventor of the Hippo Water Roller, Petty Petzer, from Pretoria, South Africa. It was Petty who helped design the Hippo Water Roller. Thanks so much for joining us. Hi, Mo. It's nice talking to you. Tell me how you came up with this idea. The idea at the time was to make a wheelbarrow with a lower center of gravity, with a wheel sort of inside the overflowing parts of the wheelbarrow itself, and to make it easier for the people to push this over long distances to their homes. We were struggling to get this concept going, and one of the first problems that we encountered was the price of the wheel. And it was then that I think I got my Eureka moment. If we could just put the water inside the wheel, then it would actually be a double advantage because it won't be the extra cost and it should also be easy to, to carry it like that. The Hippo Water Roller was born. The design included a plastic barrel-shaped container with one handle fitted on two endpoints. This way, the roller could be controlled by one person and it was made narrow enough to fit through doorways and rugged enough to drag through rough terrain. The average thickness of the wall is between three and four millimeters, and it's made of linear low density polyethylene, which is a very strong, but still a very pliable substance. The handles are made of half inch galvanized pipe and the lids are off center to help avoid breakage. At first, the innovation was called the aqua roller. But when it was introduced to local villagers, many suggested a new name. They said it reminds them very much of the hippo. And they said that it's also strong, it's got a thick skin. That was so popular that we decided to officially rename the drum to the hippo water roller. The hippo water roller holds at least four times as much water as a single bucket, which means on average it can reduce travel time by up to 20%. Well, you are changing the world. Continued good luck. Thanks for having me, Mo.